Hello, friends. I wanted to just share a little message with you, a little word today that maybe uh, inspires you, connects with you some kind of way. Um, I have three daughters, you know, and it's funny how the little one always tells me thank you for everything. Everything I do for them, she makes sure she runs back and tells me thank you. It doesn't matter if I buy a pizza for them, I buy a shirt. It doesn't matter if I take them to the movie. She always runs back and tells me thank you. And it's so sweet because in my head, I'm like, of course I would do that for you. I'm your mother. But then I have those, her older siblings who never say thank you. You know, I could fold up all their clothes, buy them clothes, you know, uh, buy them shoes, do special things for them. And I'm like, uh, you're, uh, you're welcome because they never say thank you half the time. They're like, I was about to say thank you. It's because, you know, in their head, they feel like, yeah, you're my parent. You're supposed to do those things. You know, there's an entitlement there. So they don't say thank you. But those same kids, the older ones, they say, it seems like you favor her, the younger one, all the time. Anything she asks, you always say yes to. And I'm like, no, you know, I would say yes to some of your things, too. But when she does ask me for things, there's something in my spirit that knows that if I give her something, she's going to be grateful because she always shows gratitude no matter what it is that I give her, no matter what uh, me and her dad blesses her with. And I want to tell some, some, some of you today, no matter what level you are on, it is God's blessing in your life. We have to get to a point where we denounce a complaining spirit, a bitter spirit, a feeling where um, life is just not what I want it to be. I don't like where it is. And we forget to be grateful for our level. And some of you may say, well, Ty, maybe you love your level. My level isn't that great. But I promise you that the level you are on is grace to you. There are things that we are given and blessed with that we don't understand that everybody doesn't have that. Everybody doesn't have a roof over their head. Everybody doesn't have... Uh, a variety of clothes and shoes to pick from. Everybody doesn't have a fridge with food in it. Everybody doesn't have the relationships you have, the, the spouse or the children or the friends. So it's very easily easy when you're around a lot of people that you feel are just super blessed to say, well, there's other stuff I don't have. But what about what you do have? When we show God an attitude of gratefulness, no matter whatever level we are on, no matter what resources are available to us at that moment. And we tell him, thank you, daddy. I thank you, father, for everything you bless me with. It brings God, it brings God joy to answer your prayers. It brings him joy to show favor and blessings on you because he knows you're going to come back and tell him thank you. People who forget to tell God thank you, he's like, yeah, you know, if I give them some more stuff, they're not going to tell me thank you. They're praying and saying, God, if you do all this for me, I'm going to be grateful and I'm going to do all these wonderful things. He said, you're not grateful for the very small things that I've given you. Why would I need or feel the urgency to bless you with more so that you can continue to complain and be ungrateful? Because things get old. Relationships get old. All the newness of things wear, wear down. So we must adopt an attitude of gratefulness at every level. Love your level. Love the level that you're on, what you have been given, what you have been given access to. Love that. Having access to good relationships, cultivate them, water them, maximize the things that you have been given to steward. Jesus used the parable in the Bible of uh, the three servants that were given the one, the five, and the ten talents. And they were told to work those talents. So when the master came back and he saw that the one with the one talent, because he was mad because he only had one talent and, and fearful, he didn't use it. But the others that used their talents and worked their levels, they were blessed with more. They were blessed with more. So that's my message to you, my family, my friends out here. Love the level you're on. Work it and maximize it. If you have children, that is a that is a area of which you've been given to steward that you need to maximize. Maximize your love with them. Spend time with them. Care about what, what, what interests them. Get into their grades. You know, if they're struggling in school, find the solution. Sit with them. See what's the problem. Work with them if you have the time. If you're, you're married, maximize your marriage. Water that marriage. Actually set up date nights. 
set up time to spend together. If you're single, maximize your singleness. You know, get up with your friends, your family members. Start, you know, your hobbies, your entrepreneur endeavors. Maximize your level. And when you do that, there is training that happens in there. There's a lot of mindset changes that God needs to bring you to the next level. He'll bless you with more when you're grateful for where you are. This is Tarabadi, signing out, and I hope you have a great day.